Congratulations. Who told you I was getting married? Yeah, he's pretty amazing, all right. Always full of surprises. Of course, I'll give the boys your love. And it was nice talking to you, Sarah. Yeah, you too. Bye. Y that's what I was going to tell you. I reached, reached out, out to my sister. I, yeah, I did. Why? Why? Because we're getting married and I want your family at the wedding. So I called her. You're upset? No, I'm not upset. I'm just... I told you it was pointless to reach out to them. And it turns out I was right, because Sarah's too busy to fly out for a wedding. You're her sister. It's exactly what I expected. <sighs> You're disappointed. No. No, it's... I'm, I'm so used to it. Why didn't you tell your sister you were getting married? I didn't not tell her. She didn't know. It wasn't intentional. I just... We haven't spoken for a while. You need to tell me what's going on with you. I don't know how else to explain it. My family's just not close. We don't... We don't text every day, we don't talk every week. It's just not the way we are. Okay, but this is kind of important stuff, it right? It doesn't matter. Whether I get a flat tire or I'm inducted into the Nurses Hall of Fame... You guys have a Hall of Fame? They won't show up for either. That doesn't bother you? It used to. But then my disappointment turned into resignation, and now I just have zero expectations. Hey, you never know. Maybe this time it'll be different. No, I do know, and it won't be. So can you please just let it go? I'm sorry if I overstepped a boundary. It's okay. It was very sweet of you to try. And honestly, if I thought there was a chance my family would come to my wedding, I'd invite them. Don't feel bad for me. No, I don't feel bad for you. I think you're incredible. And I just don't understand why they wouldn't want to be a part of your life and part of the lives of your children. There's no room for me and my boys in their lives. For my sister and my parents, their work is their life. And it's not malicious, it's just them. But there's a bright side to this. Really? What's that? You know how they say you can't pick your family? Mm. Well, I kind of got to. I have amazing friends and my boys and you. You're the only family I need. I'm pretty lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're really lucky. But... But what? Oh, come on. <laughs> If your parents somehow magically showed up at your wedding, that wouldn't make you just a tiny little bit happy. Yeah, of course it would. In a Cinderella-like kind of way. But my life isn't a fairy tale, and I'm okay with that. Okay, can we talk about something happy now? Sure. <laughs> what? What do you want to talk about? I like the fact that we're going to get married in a couple months, and I'm really super excited. Yeah, me too. After everything it took for us to get here, next to having my kids, exchanging vows with you is going to be the most important moment of my life. No. No, I have no. to get it. <laughs> oh, it's the ER. Yeah, I have to go. Okay. Go save lives, whatever. I love you. Thank you for making an effort with my family. I'm sorry it didn't work out. I love you, too. I'll see you home. You better wait up for me. You know I will. Hi, Sarah. It's Franco Baldwin again. Weird question. I wonder if you could put me in touch with your parents. 